Starting her up. Uh, first, uh, first thing in the chat, uh, Amy. That's your dad too. Just remember that. Don't even care. Don't even care. So, how's everybody today? What's up? Super fantastic. Oh, right on, right on. So, today uh, we're going to be talking about the video games that. That really kind of changed us, really made us like into gamers and hopeful for the future and all that fun jazz. Just like a game that like really had an impact on you and in the way that game. you end up being a gamer. A, a game, game that's that made like, me waste so much time on video games. Yeah, man. a game that you just you had to finish. You couldn't not leave it, you know? You had to like go, go, go until it was done. So for Kyle, it was Pokemon Snap for the N64. <laughs> Pokemon, I Pokemon actually did Red. enjoy Pokemon Snap. I'm excited for the next one. There's another one coming out? Another one? There's a new one coming out for the Switch. Oh, damn. You know what? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not surprised because doesn't the Switch also have a camera on it? Does it have a camera on it? No. Okay. I was, I was getting it thinged with the, D, uh, with the, the DS. Uh, yeah. Just going to do a little shameless plug here while I take a sip of my drink. A shameless plug. Mine's, mine's empty, but I can do one. Okay. I don't have a drink, so... <laughs> uh, being a basic bitch. <laughs> Amy's Amy's big, ba- <laughs> basic, basic bitch status is... Basic bitch. Yeah, is Starbucks well, on the other side? See, I'm drinking juice out of no, a Wreck All the I Things mug. I'm a big fan of Starbucks. Pumpkin spice anything. A link down in the description below to uh, get this delicious and fantastic looking mug from Wreck All the Things. There you go. Did you say delicious looking? It is. Yeah. Don't you think it's delicious looking, Amy? Take a look at it. I don't know. Um, are you going to eat it? I might. You just give it's it the good. good old rimmer. <laughs> it's it's pretty. It's pretty. I wouldn't say eat it. A good it's old delicious. rimmer. An old rim. Wow. This, <laughs> this is just going amazingly. All right. So, David, hit us. Tell us. Tell us your your video game then we'll, we'll, we'll open it up to discussion because i enjoy discussion on these topics okay so i think the first system i got that really was like something i i really really put a lot of time into and everything was n64 oh yeah and what came with it was diddy kong racing which i thought it was just like one of the best things ever and then i got into the THQ wrestling games. So like uh, No Mercy, Revenge, you know, WrestleMania 2000, those type of wrestling games. And I think that gave me the amount of like time and everything to like learn a controller and not have to like look at the buttons and, get, you know, get that sense of like when you're playing a game and you're, you're 100% there, you're not, you're trusting your hands to do what your mind wants them to do. Almost. Gotcha, yeah. But I think the game that I could not put down till I finished it was me and my buddy Derek were playing co-op and it was the original Halo on original Xbox. Great game. That was just like, yeah, especially, you know, when you're playing co-op and you're both Master Chief and, you know, and and you're just like, even those little like stupid aliens that look like chipmunks and you run around and you're just like picking them off and and, and everything about it. What What are those ones called? You remember what those are called? I've got no idea. I can't either. I can't remember. Sorry, because I know all the. I didn't get into games. Halo till like three, I think. Oh, okay. I never uh, had an Xbox. Ironically, so I, I Halo One, I really liked, and then we ended up playing Halo Two, me and Nathan, and we didn't like it. We were like, no, that that good. the big one on that one for me anyway is like, I just want a bad guy, and I want him to be bad. That's it. Like, and I didn't, yeah. I didn't like that. You know, you're playing as Master Chief on like some uh, in some game modes and then you're playing or not game modes some in some uh missions in the campaign and then you're playing as like that arbiter like from the The covenant and it's like really like i I just i just want to hate him i don't want this nonsense it's just let me be master chief master chief is master chief nonsense we literally stopped playing that when you came across like a weird like underwater slug slash like not slug (laughs) monster it was like a 
what do you call it? A big underwater like squid monster that like teleported you guys to, like different places. I can't even remember. Yeah. But actually, Dave, uh, just on that one too, Halo One was the first game that you and I beat together, I believe. It was either that or it was oh, Gears. Okay. It was either that one or Gears. And I can't remember, but I, it, I don't know. They're around the same we, time. We've conquered many a games in our day, me and you. So I would say one of my favorite games that we beat was The Warriors, based off of uh, that was really movie. good. And I don't that even think it really got good very game. good. I don't think that's it, a movie they should redo. Yeah, I'd be down I'm for not that. Sure if they can again. though. They should. Like though. it's just like everything about it is still really good though. You know, it could be updated it's, a little it's bit. It's definitely, uh, you know, aged very well, like a fine wine. It's still uh, a great movie. I still watch yeah. it at least once a year. Can you dig it? Dig it. Just Warriors. My favorite's the bottle. Video. Warriors. Yeah. That was so good. Apparently, Come that... out to play it. And I love at the end where he's got the gun and the guy puts out a switchblade and hugs it and it hits him like right here in the hand. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. Apparently that that apparently that whole like clinkety clank like bottle scene improv. was was totally improv. Yeah, Good and game. you know actually the Warriors video game did do fairly well, and which kind of surprising. Like, well, I don't know about sales, but ratings wise, like it's eighty. It's a great game. game. It's a great game. Like Metacritic gave it eighty four, Gamespot eight uh, eight point six out of ten, and IGN eight point seven out of ten. Like that, those are solid scores. I've seen games with way crappier scores get way more like sequels out of them because it was a great game yeah right on so dave like so for you your big one is thq like no sorry it was uh halo old school old school wrestling in for the 64 and then yeah what got me into co-op games like having that want to play with my friends and you know be on the same team and take on the world type thing was halo for sure and you know what yeah like and that's something i really obviously like you know I wouldn't be able to argue with at all because like I look at from what I've seen from your your gaming now you're all about either one-on-one -on -one fighters or like co-op based games like we've played we've almost put yeah. every uh like we put the first three gears of wars to rest you know well, we, four. We, we did judgment too right oh so, that's right we did four, do judgment yeah, yeah we've, we've put four gears of wars to rest uh you know like we've done all that like a, a lot of those especially the first three I'm pretty sure we did all couch co-op if I'm not mistaken, I know, oh, the, yeah. I know the first two we did, but then like, obviously, yeah. like I said, like you got like your one-on-one -on -one fighters, like you're still getting like every injustice and every mortal Kombat, And you know, you and I are we're, like, you know, always trying to find co-op games to play. Like, oh yeah. Always co-op games. Nine times out of 10, when I buy a game, especially like retro games, very rarely will I get a game where it's just like a single player campaign. I, I like the aspect that I, like, I can be like, Oh dude, come over and play. You know, Hunters the Reckoning or something like I mean, that's four player co op game. Zombie well, killer. Well, like, and I would even say one of the first like co op games that I think you and me put to rest, like, not one of the first, but like definitely closer to the first than the last would have been Baldur's Gates 2. Oh, yeah, that was a great game. And that's we really and we totally beat the crap out of the system we, on that. We cheated. <laughs> we had a way to cheat. We were able to get all of the best gear. Like that took like say like I can't remember what the, like you know don't quote me but I can't remember the level like the actual level caps and the level numbers, but like say it was like a level hundred item you had to be a level hundred to use it. We had that at like level five, but we couldn't use yeah. it because we didn't have the levels yet. Because I would basically save my game, drop my entire inventory. Dave would pick it up, then I would log like out of my reload game, <laughs> reload my character from my previous save, so I had all my stuff, and then Dave would sell all my stuff. And yeah, we, so we, we got doubles, triples of everything. We spent like an hour and a half doing that, and we made like millions of dollars in that game. Oh, so yeah, good. we we laundered money in that game. Basically. basically, yeah, we cheated that system hard, but nice. I, uh, you know, I, that, that's awesome. Uh, that was friggin' good memories. See, video games they create great memories. Everybody, Kyle. So Kyle, yeah, you, you uh, hit. Let, let's hear Kyle's. I want to hear Kyle's. Uh, I'm gonna assume that it, it involves things with more than two legs idea. i have an idea of which game i think you're gonna say i don't think you do i think it's okay i, I think i know okay, the game so i, I was i'm remember. gonna touch a little bit on the co-op okay only because so my first co-op was ninja turtles 2 for the regular nintendo because i grew Solid up with my brothers game. playing video games and Turtle stuff like arcade. that yeah i love so that game Turtle arcade was kind of my first 
like co-op like my brothers and i played that all the time and played right through them all like turtles in time is still one of my favorite that's a great one kind of hack and slash type games now correct me if i'm wrong uh turtles arcade that was the first one that was just straight up side scrolling beat em up right because the first one was yeah. on a platform the first one was by yourself yeah the first one is side scroller but you have those it's a levels one player, where, it's like a, uh, where it's like you're to down view as well yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're doing that like omniscient view, like the bird's eye view, like Kyle just said, yeah. when you're going from like mission to mission. And then when you're like in the missions, it's more like a Super Mario like side scrolling platform. Yeah. Yeah. Arcade's the one where like the first level like, is the burning building. building. Yeah, the burning apartment right building. Yeah. yeah. That was a great one. I was a huge fan of that. Kyle, that's a great like, choice. Hit by cars. Like, cars so that's, that's my apart. first like co op. Like, that, yeah. I, like, I love that style of game. They used to annoy me so much that there were four turtles, but you could only have two controllers with a regular Nintendo. True. Yep. Oh, also, uh... I just realized I didn't introduce everybody, obviously, to my uh, my left. So right of screen, we have Dave. Right beneath me, we have Kyle. And then all the way over that corner, we have my sister, Amy. Say hi, everybody. I realized I didn't do that. Oy. And this hi, is Amy. Gabby. Stupid. Oh, that's dude, apparently a dog. This is a dog. It's a squirrel from out back. <laughs> they adopted out of the tree. Dog. Man, I'm not gonna lie. You see those videos of people that like manage to like train like chipmunks and squirrels and stuff. They're so cute. I want oh. a pet chipmunk. I, I, like, I don't think I would. You don't think you would? I'd, I'd love one. There's a squirrel that lives somewhere near me, and he keeps leaving peanut shells on my porch. And I'm kind He's of trying to kill you. <laughs> it wouldn't be a big deal if I didn't have the allergy, but I do. He's a so squirrel. Like, like, He's a squirrel like, assassin. I, I avoid you guys when I see you on the road. The least you could do is eat your lunch elsewhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> but okay, yeah. Kyle, I totally thought you were gonna because I know you that, love these. That games. was just my first co-op game. Hold on. Okay. Oh, All right, yeah, more. Go, go, go yeah. Kyle. Go, 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 go. So my first co-op game was Ninja Turtles, and I know you're gonna want me to say pokemon because no, Pokemon I, red no, that's not where you were gonna go no no it wasn't okay so my first first game that i had to like sit down and i could not put it down like i got walkthroughs like i had to figure it out was ocarina of time oh that's solid like, game solid game i had to finish that like that, i couldn't that and I, I played through it i don't know how many times already like i just it's such a great game I was literally thinking that you were gonna say something with Mega Man, because I mean, that's another that yeah. You really like Mega Man games, so I thought you were gonna be like Mega Man was the first one I could not put down. I'm not gonna lie, I figured you were gonna go with either Pokemon like Red or Blue, like the classic like. Red was my first one that I got. Yeah. That's did you I like walk around a recess red. with your Game Boy and like the cord yeah, I did. and like trade? No, I didn't have the cord very much, but I did walk around like, "Don't talk to me, I'm busy." Sorry, <laughs> bud. <laughs> Speaking of Pokemon, though, mind you, here now we're at those like in that stage again with like Pokemon Go and whatnot. I know it's a couple years old now, but there's still a lot of folks that are playing it. There's still a lot of people out there. I still play it a little bit here and there. Like Toskamiri wants me to get into it, and it's like, eh, Dave. Dave got really mad at me that I wasn't into it because if you I live right next to a Pokestop, I live next yeah, to two. Do. If I like, if I'm in my living room, I can get. You can hit both of them. I can hit both of the Pokestops. So like literally yeah. from like my chair, I could, and I'm like, I just, I gotta like walk for this thing, I and like, don't care. and At like I've got a. You usually go on walks with Bobo a lot, right? So it's yeah, not I literally, I literally drive everywhere. I just drive slow. Yeah, I remember, I remember, I remember cracking that. That basically, if you went under 30 kilometers an hour. You, yeah. you can still do it. Like we're picking my, my buggy at work counts, so I always set my <laughs> steps to go towards it. So when I go out in the parks and I have to do my garbage rounds in my buggy, it doesn't go fast enough, so it doesn't actually trigger as I'm in a car. So it gets me all my steps. Yeah, I guess I guess nobody can jog. And the Zamboni, thirty Zamboni the counts Zamboni. too. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. But yeah, I, I figured it would have uh, been one of the Pokemon ones. But oh, speaking of Pokemon, Kyle, you got your shiny Charizard. Let's see him pop him out. Yeah, I do. Well, I actually okay. I gotta show you the case he's in. Okay, let's see the case. I, I got him his own little. Oh look! At, oh, oh look at that! He's got God. a he's got a yard to run around in. Wow. He's safe from the rain. Right. So you pulled that. From I pulled pack. it the other night. Random pack. I was sitting right here. Paige had opened a couple. She actually left the room. 
I was just sitting here just kind of opening them. And then as soon and, as I saw a piece of the corner, I stopped. And then I went running and I got Paige. And I was like, ah! And screaming and buzzing. And she and started screaming like, look, get look. it on film. <laughs> one card, one card. I know, I the one time I don't film it is the one time I pulled it. Well, and it's funny too because like I remember the other day I was watching, like you did an Instagram live and you were doing them. I'm like, I've got like my fingers on like my friggin' screenshot buttons just in case you pull it. <laughs> like, yeah, and I and you only did a couple of packs. You were only on I think for like eight to ten minutes or something. But I was like, eh, I'm ready. I will do this. <laughs> <laughs> when he does it, we'll get it. And right. then I didn't get it. That's pretty sweet though. Yeah. Right on, so you're taking us all to dinner? Awesome. Oh, we're not allowed to go anywhere. Uh, you can <laughs> if there's a patio. Restaurants are I'll, open. I'll skip the dishes. I'll get you something from McDonald's. Eat some spaghetti. Spaghetti. Mm. Some spaghetti in my balls. So, Kyle, are those your are those your two <laughs> your two biggins? Your Ocarina of Time and your. Yeah, I mean, I like Super Mario and Duck Hunt were obviously like the oh first huge game huge that. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I would like, and it's like, like got me started. Yeah. Did did everybody while playing Duck Hunt, if you miss and that dog left you, you try to shoot the dog? Oh, oh dude, the amount of times, <laughs> yeah, the amount of times I would lose the level because like I was clicking my my gun at the dog, and then the dog moment it went down, like I would go through my other two bullets really quick when the dog went down. And I'm like, no, <laughs> like I got so mad. <laughs> right on. Well, Amy, now it's your mm-hmm. turn, dear sister. All right. Um. In terms of like co-op stuff, because growing up with Nathan, we played all the time. We played a lot, yeah. Like we played a lot. Even when we hated each other, there was like five years where we straight up legitimately hated each other. We still played games. Time out, truce. We gotta yeah. play some video games. Remember one, yeah, it was weird. Remember, remember one time it was weird. me and Amy were physically playing Power Rangers or something and I kicked her in the face by accident because she ran into my foot. And I oh, it, accidentally, huh? I was well, like I was throwing an air That's kick. That's the best excuse. Yeah! I was throwing an air like accident. I was on the couch and I was throwing this sweet air kick, and like she was supposed to like not run face first into my foot. Into my foot. <laughs> and she went and ran, told mom, may or may not have got my butt beat, and then <laughs> and friggin' uh, yeah. And then even years later, Amy was just like, you know what? Remember this time that that happened? I was like. Yeah, she's like, you know, I kind of realized now, I'm pretty sure that was a huge accident. I'm like, obviously, I wasn't maliciously trying to kick you in your face. So you're remembering that time. I'm remembering when we were on the deck, and you, like, you, like, full on. It wasn't an accident. It was, kerpah, in my it face. It wasn't an accident. <laughs> it wasn't. It full on wasn't. Um, so that's what I was referencing. Keeping in mind, Amy also did basically break my finger oh, yeah. out of rage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. I kicked you in the nuts, and then you went to put your hand up, and then I kicked your hand. And then my finger went like, <laughs> and I was like, ah! yeah, like what, what I mean, we hated each other, like, but we still played video games, like Goldeneye. We played that so much. That's true. But no odd jobs. He's cheating. No, no. No odd jobs. Um, like I, I still have we... the two original Power Rangers, by the way. Little fun fact for the Super Nintendo. I oh, still right. have them. I still have my uh, my copy for Game Boy. Actually, I think I have your copy for Game Boy, Nathan. Oh, yeah, because I lent you my Game Boy when you are in the hospital. Like, my rich, yeah, my rich Game Boy. So you don't own it anymore. Possession is 99% yeah, it's of the been, law. Yeah, it's been like 15 it years. Was abandoned. Years. It's cool. I'm glad, I'm glad to know that uh, Dave's the worst at borrowing. Rude. But so, Amy, yeah, so you were saying uh, we played a lot of games together and you were going Goldeneye. Yeah. But no, in terms of like the game that I think we probably played the most, though I don't remember it very well, was probably Monsters in My Pocket. We played that a lot, yeah. yeah. A lot. Game. The Yumi it was actually, show, wasn't it? We, and we have we still have a, a like a like a, 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 a currently standing tattoo date that we're gonna have to that we have to get when all this is over. Potentially, yes. <laughs> yeah, <'cause... laughs> doesn't sound like she's doing it. Kind of like Dave's. Uh, deal. Yeah. Yeah, well, no, yeah like, wait, thought, wait, 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 yeah. first off. Uh, yeah, I'm, sorry I'm not, like, running to the tattoo part to get my ass tattooed. <laughs> what, 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 what do you have to get tattooed again, Dave? Like, let's so let people know. I had a bet with Kyle that if he got the G.I. Joe Cobra symbol on his giant toe, because he has a cobra toe, <laughs> that I would get a poem tattooed Roses on Roses are red. My name is Dave. This poem makes no sense. Microwave. <laughs> 
No. And I got the stupid toe tattoo. Yeah, Kyle, and that was like I know I was there. Ago. It looked it looked so painful. It was when you so got bad. It. Now, Kyle, question for you: How many years? Like, keeping in mind, current year twenty twenty. What year did you get the cobra toe? It's like five or six years ago. It was probably five or six. So Four Dave, five, Dave's literally ago. been welching on a bet for a half a decade, if not longer. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's true. All right, good, good to know. Don't make deals with Dave. No, I'm not oh, very wow. good at keeping my wow. hand. <laughs> I'll get it done eventually, and I won't tell you when I'm getting. I'm just gonna show up at your house. You're gonna knock on your door. You open it, and my ass is gonna be out. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't complain about it. It'd be pretty funny. Yeah, so I remember that. Like, wouldn't the... be the first time that I was naked outside nope. someone's house knocking on the door. Yeah, so like, and so the two main playable characters in um, Monsters in My Pocket was a Frankenstein's monster and a Dracula. And that's what me and Amy said we were going to get tattooed on us. And like little like Dope. eight bit. I don't friggin... know the game. I'll, I'll be honest. I don't know it. It, it. Honestly, dude, it's a great side scroller. And it's got a lot of like verticality, which a lot of side scrollers really didn't have at the time. Because you play as these, like, like, yeah, Amy, you go, yeah, this is yours. I'm sorry. I'm oh, just... yeah, basically, you play as like tiny monsters that could fit in your pocket, and you're going through uh, different rooms of a house. So, you uh, there's one level in the bathroom, one on the I remember the kitchen, the better. kitchen one, yep. Yeah. Um, and I can't remember what the end game was for because honestly, we played it so long ago. I know you end up in a sewer, you end years. up in a, in a construction site, uh. Yeah, and like I think you're scaling a building at one point, but yeah, then you end up like beating like big boss man. Like you think you've beaten everything, and then like you're watching like TV at the end of it, like your two characters, and then it's like, nope, psych, I'm calling you out right now. I'm big boss man, and then you have to fight again when you think you've beaten it. Oh. And I don't think we've actually yeah. beaten the game. I think we've gotten to that point. Where we were like, what? Yeah, we've got to go to because it's one of the it's one of those ones where you die and you have to go back to the beginning. Right? Yeah, yeah, because it's original Nintendo. There wasn't a whole lot of game with yeah. like saves. It was like three yeah. lives and you're done. Yeah. 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 yeah that's there... like the co op one. Yeah, for sure. That was a great game. Oh, yeah. And then the one that really got me into like, because even, even now, a lot of the times, I like I do play games, but I'm more of a co op person. But I remember the very first game, I'm going to probably get some, like, get razzed for this. Uh, okay. That I was like obsessive with. I think I know what it's gonna was... be. It's a good start. <laughs> Nathan had borrowed an Xbox from his friend, I think, because we didn't own it. He borrowed it, and I was obsessed with Jet Set Radio. Oh no, I bought that. I bought it off of Calvin Land. Bought it. Radio. Yeah, that was I what I what bought. It. Okay. You're on like rollerblades and you graffiti yeah. and stuff like that. It had a wicked soundtrack. It did. I remember one where it's like "Shut Up Bethany" or something like that, and I'm like. I still remember a lot of the music for that, but I was like obsessed with that because usually I won't play like back in the day. I wouldn't play games unless like I was playing with Nathan or I was playing with friends. And this was literally like Nathan would come home and I'm on his Xbox. I'm like, get off. And I, and I remember I come home and he'd be like, get off. And my mom would be like, Nathan, you have to share it with your sister. I'm like, no, I don't. I bought this with my money. I am 17 years old. <laughs> I'm like, I'm my own allowance, oh, mom. It's like this is uh, my money. No, I was working, man. I've been working since I like since I legally could and before. Is that the Xbox you got from like Calvin? Yeah, that was the one I got off of Calvin Langell, yeah. So, see, I didn't realize you bought it. I thought you borrowed it. No, no, no. I I got it off. I think Whatever I paid like I want to say I paid like 80 bucks for it cuz like the 360 was going to be coming out soon or it had come out like just come out. Uh yeah, and I yeah. bought that and he gave me like two or three games with it. And one of them was like the demo disc that had Jet Set Radio. Yeah, like I played the ever loving shit out of that. I was obsessed with that. See, I had a GameCube at the time of the Xbox. Oh, you were one of those. Mm. See, I was a PlayStation 2 guy. Because, like, at the time, PlayStation 2 had all the great games. Like, all Rockstar games were, like, sp okay. like solely on the PlayStation. Battlefronts. Star Wars Battlefronts was great. But then, like, I was so happy when I got, like, the original Xbox because so many, um,. Amazing Star Wars games were on that. Like you could play like the Knights of the Old Republic, uh, Star Wars uh, Republic Commando. Like there was a lot of Star Wars games for the Xbox that just weren't on PlayStation, which is weird because yeah. there were Star Wars games on PlayStation. So it was just so weird that they would split the uh, the like the, I, uh, the the IPs like that. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it was weird. Yeah. But all right, Nate, you're up, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for me, again, I guess we'll. I just kind of talked about it. anyway. Uh, 
Rockstar games are on the PlayStation 2. One of the big ones that got me in into gaming and it really like open like not like open my eyes but it made me really hopeful for the future was grand theft auto vice city and i remember playing that game for hours upon hours uh with my buddy dave sproul where i just ran around killing fuckers on the road oh dude the amount of times like i'd play that even in our living room and like i had uh i had won a friggin what was it uh uh, like a surround sound system because like at a at a work party or something and i would blast a uh, wonderful wonderful world uh by forget oh what's his name now w- w- crap what is that guy's name the, the as it trees of green uh, louis armstrong yeah louis armstrong thank you wow i was blank and hard i'd blast that while going on like just murder sprees with like mini guns and crap <laughs> like, I don't know why. I, I think I'm. Oh, so you're a psychopath. You're not wrong. Slightly. But, yeah, like, and the, and the thing that got me about that game was that, like, A, obviously I love, like, the 80s timeline in it. It was so campy and whatnot in that regard. But the thing that got me about it was, like, when me and Dave Sproul would play, we, we con- like, we, that was at, like, the time, like, late 90s sort of deal, early 2000s, where you're, like, you're hearing about all this stuff coming down the line, like, online multiplayer is coming and all this stuff. And, it was like, man, could you imagine playing this game with other people? Because, like, I was a great pilot in Vice City. Like, I could fly, like, the Dodo. And if anybody flew the Dodo in Vice City, you know it was complete garbage. Like, it was hard to stay in the air. But I remember flying that thing for, like, 20 minutes straight one time. Like, because it had, like, these little nubby wings. So you had to, like, constantly be, like, bobbing and dipping. And, like, we were talking. And, and it was like, man, like, you know, you got to... Like, could you imagine, like, you know, you could be our pilot, Nathan, and, you know, like, we could be doing, like, crazy, like, you know, crime sprees and all this stuff and, like, dropping in. And it was like, oh, my God, that's so, like, and, like, when movies, like, Cable Guy came out where you had that whole thing of, like, oh, you could be playing, you know, Mortal Kombat with your buddy in Hong Kong. And, it like, it got you thinking. It's like, man, that's, like, like you know, it just made me so hopeful for the future of gaming. And, I, I you know, I kind of think, like, that's kind of why I still do it. Now, playing Grand Theft Auto Online, I'm like, I'm literally living like 12 year old nathan's dream like 100 percent. like if i could go back and tell like 12 year old nathan and be like he'd be like so hey what's it like in 2020 it gets better it's like what's it, it like in 2020 this well, gets t- better right here it's like 2020 is absolutely horrible but you know what we can play it's grand like theft. 2020 is going to be one of the worst years ever but you will discover grand theft auto 5 yeah <laughs> you, you grand theft auto is playable online and he'll be like 12 uh, year old nathan be like you know what Crying. It's worth it yeah, just a just like yeah. single tier. Also, all the all, almost all your friends that you used to game with at this point in time, little Nathan. Yeah, big Nathan. You're not going to talk to them anymore. <laughs> Could you imagine going back and like it's like though that meme where you like you look at like the the electrical box that's in like every subdivision. It's like at one point you sat on these for the last time with your best friends and you didn't even know it. Yep. It's like when you're hanging out with your friends like on oh. summer vacation. And it's like one of these days is going to be the last days that you guys hung out, and you may not know. Yeah, and just, like it just won't happen again. You just won't remember. Yeah, oh, exactly. 100%. I'm just waiting for that day to come with Kyle that he just doesn't. <laughs> I'll just hit the button. <laughs> this is it. I'm done. <laughs> it's like yeet. I just watched Stand by Me with Paige yesterday, which uh, your little great movie. The last summer, last hangout. Yeah. Uh, that's such a, such good, a good movie. Film. It was Screw like, you guys, I got it. What the movie? Oh, oh it's so good, classic. That's a quote from the movie. When oh. he drops his potato in the fire. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Screw that's you right. guys, I got it. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, like, the one scene that, like, the two scenes anyway that, that stand out in Stand by Me, for, to me anyway, were like the train scene. Across the crossing bridge. Crossing the bridge. It's like, oh god. Like I remember being like watching that for the first time. Like you know, like gripping your friggin' like. Uh, the, the arms of your chair like yeah, they're not gonna make it and then of course you're so young you don't realize nathan they're not gonna kill like six preteen boys in a movie <laughs> 25 minutes in like you're like you know like the common sense and the logic haven't kept kicked in yet but yeah remember that and then like like almost fainting when buddy had a friggin leeches. leech on his dong the leech yeah. <laughs> and i remember being like you could get leeches on your wee wee because like we used to swim all the time in like the pond like out near our place in Cookstown that had leeches. And I was just like, man, it's like, fine, I'll go swimming. But I'm also wearing like full tidy whitey underwear under my friggin' thing. So nothing's getting my bits. Didn't stop it in that movie. Kind of funny in terms of like. like, like, like four times the size. So it's probably kinda, not going to go for it. 
Dude, there's huge. Kind of weird because I, I watched Congo today and literally in it. Oh, Congo is sick. Gets a leech on it on his penis. That's. Okay. I love Congo. That was so a good. Oh. great movie. Solid movie. Solid movie. So, so is that good. it? Does anybody have anything more to talk about when it comes to late games to video? Le should have been a games. Congo video game. I would like to know where Left 4 Dead 3 is. So. Oh, I would too. Like that was a weird one to me because like Left 4 Dead 2 came out less than a year after Left 4 Dead mm-hmm. 1, and then there so was just, good. oh, they were so good. And then nothing. They were so similar though. Like it was a very yeah. similar. There was nothing of... new to the second one, really. Yeah. Well, there was like different zombies and stuff, but it there, was, there was, it was new was zombies. Very, very you had similar. melee weapons. Right. Like, they updated, the... but that could have been done with an update nowadays. Yeah. Oh, 100 yeah. percent. It, it definitely felt like more so... of like, like a DLC. <laughs> Yeah, like as opposed to a stepping <clears throat> sequel. Well, now with Left 4 Dead 2, you get like all the characters from one. All the and characters, two, yeah, and there's even and like cross all the maps and chapters and everything. And there were yeah. crossover yeah. missions as well, weapons. where like you find out like certain yeah. characters of like the original movie, or the original I call it movie because they all play it as movies, but uh, where certain characters from the original game are dead. Like there's one where you see yeah. like old man Bill like dead in a warehouse. I'm sorry, Bill would live. Lewis would die because Lewis was a fucking pill popper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he would have died from either. Pills here. Yeah, he, yeah, Pills he, here. He would have died from like either straight up like withdrawal because he couldn't get his pills or an overdose because he oh. ate everybody's pills. Because like yeah. literally, they're not like pills over here. Pills. I got pills Two here. Rules are left for dead with Lewis. Don't touch my Percocets. And do you have any fucking Percocets? <laughs> do you have any fucking Percocets? <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, oh, I... God. Nathan, do you remember that one time it glitched out and. Uh, like we had died and what took us back to the safe room and Lewis was there, but he was he wasn't physically there. He was just this like blood animation going. Like, yeah, yeah, constantly like exploding. <laughs> yeah, it was and gross. You're like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah, it the was craziest, li- the craziest thing about Left 4 Dead, and I, I'll still never forget it. Is that overall feeling you get when you hear the witch cry? Oh, oh my and god! And you have no idea and when where they she had is. It and- and when they started to let them like walk around, yep, yeah, like it was like, oh. and then there's always that thing where like, especially if you're in co-op, you're kind of like, okay, are we gonna go for it and try to kill the witch, or are just we keep just quiet try and to sneak avoid? around? And yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, shut up, everybody, turn your. But the worst is when she was like right in the middle and you can't. And you can't <laughs> go anywhere. Yeah. Can't go and anywhere. the great thing about like, that oh. game is too is that like her spawns were relatively random. Like, it wasn't like she was in, like, the middle of a hallway every time that you played that level. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, no. And the clown zombie, if you, like, may lead him in the face, his oh, nose yeah. squeaked. Like oh, a, wah, wah. The, the Noam oh, Chomsky. No, I was going to say that. That was, like, my favorite, favorite freaking uh, achievement that we got was, yeah. like, in the, like, the second phase of that, of the Dark Carnival. You got this gnome, and one of you had to hold but, but, uh, it the you only, entire You time. only got the gnome if you played a specific Noam carnival Chomsky. game. Yeah, no Chomsky or whatever it's called. Yeah, and that yeah. was a, and it was, was that the one that you end up like finishing on the no no that was the one where that's you, the stage. That's the stage one, yeah. The stage like you, you had, get on the helicopter or whatever. Yeah, right. And the funny thing is that the stage isn't as bad. It's the freaking roller coaster in that section. Yeah, yeah. no, like especially trying to stay alive. Because if you fall off, you're done. Because I played a lot with Dan yet. Oh my god. Like, the last time she finally made it, like, because she usually gets screwed over. She'll get hit by something and get stopped on the on the roller coaster. And I'm like, see ya, bitch. <laughs> and I let them meet her while I go and get to the safe room. Stop. Oh, yeah, there's definitely like, those times it. where it's just like, yeah, you just have to leave the other person behind. Mm-hmm. Like, you just have to. Uh, no, oh, I hear you. Sometimes know. you got to make sacrifices, man. That's how yeah. life works. Oh, 100%. My, one of my Sometimes favorite. Sometimes you got to jump over a witch, get her angry, and then have the next person behind you get the wrath of her. Yeah. Well, the one that gets me too is like, like yeah, probably my favorite, my favorite ending to like anything, like any kind of game or whatever, was in Left 4 Dead 2. Like that bridge over Trebled Slaughter was so good. Oh. Like, because yeah. you're just, like, trying to run, like, because like, you just think of it from, like, almost a cinematic point of view. Like, you got to, like, run over this bridge, and you've got, like, all these zombies coming after you, and you've got, like, the big tanks trying to mess with you, tanks. and you just got to try to get to the helicopter. Before, like, before they, like, they blow up the bridge cinematically. Mm-hmm. So good. Am I the only one that was an asshole with randoms and closed the door on them when the witch is chasing them? Oh, 100% I would, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm a, I was they the only one. Them out of the, uh, like, wait for them, like, what? <laughs> 
Oh, like yeah. Especially when the witch is chasing them. Like to the safe Open room. Door! Oh yeah, yeah like, I, I, used to do, I used to do that to Dave, not with like witches or whatnot, but like if I got to the safe room first, and Dave would do it to me, he's an asshole, and like he'd be running to the thing, and like he's line. being chased by zombies, is like, oh, hold the door, hold the door, I'm like, yeah man, holding it, holding it shut, and then the thing would shut, I'm like, no! <laughs> and then you had to let him in, kill the zombies that made it in. Yeah. But, and my, I, I, yeah. I usually Last let the windows we... died. Well, that's, yeah. uh, that's just the video game stream right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 that's, uh, that is video games right there, folks. So leave down in the comments below if you wouldn't mind anyway. Uh, what, what video games were the big ones to you? The pivotal the pivotal games, the ones that you remember the most, the ones pivotal. that kept you pivotal. Yeah, the pivotal games that kind of <laughs> kept you along your course of gaming awesomeness. Which ones made you you? Because everybody knows that only games can do that. Only games can make you realize who you truly True. are. True. <laughs>